Welcome to Truck and Chubby Sports, where we back in our yapping, we ain't never capping, that's a factin', so what's happening? Not a coach, not a pro, no X's, no O's, just the fans point of view, and what we know, let's go. Yo, 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 what up, what it, what up, what it, what up, what it, what's going on up out there, man? I hope that everybody's having a fantastic Taco Tuesday. All right, man, what's going on, everybody up out there? Look, I want to send a special shout out to my son, CJ4, what up? You know what I'm saying? He makes all my beats, y'all. Incredible producer, man, for real, um. Hey, man, I ain't even going to kick it up like that. But look, man, he makes all my beats. If you ever need a beat, you can holler at me in the DMs on X if you got me on there. It's the same thing. Truck and Chubby, you'll find me on there, Instagram, Facebook, or you can put it down in the comments like holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know I do the videos or whatever that is, you know, and all that good stuff. So you holler at me if you need some work done, you know, I can charge a lot, you know, just got to stay up on my grind up out here. Also, my co-host had a child. He's already put that out there, but I just wanted to say to him out here, everybody know, you know what I'm saying? She had a child. He's a dad now and made a most high bless him and that everybody sent him and his family prayers. No matter what you're going through with your child, I know getting up in the middle of the night is rough. These are the rough times, but these are also the most precious times. You'll never get these times back. So enjoy it, brother. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. For real. Like, smile, man. You know what I mean? I, I remember I got a baby story real quick. I remember e each and every one of my babies, each and every one of my babies threw up in my mouth, holding them up like this. Because I, I don't know why. After they eat, you know, after you eat, right? After, like, don't lie. Even when some people eat and then the food good, when you're black people, you always got that wiggle going. Now, the food be good, so you be be moving. You be, yeah, that's good. That's good food. You be always got that wiggle to it, and especially when it's real good. You all, you tapping your foot or something under the table. I'm telling you, I'm telling you if it's good, I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, the babies get happy, and, and you know, I'm holding over eating and, and, and you just and you can't do nothing because you up like this and it just you gotta gotta uh, pause you gotta swallow it bro you got to just just warm milk that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> look man but it's a beautiful thing and enjoy it man enjoy it for real man enjoy it oh uh, man so i'm a running imagine in college football, the top two conferences left and went on their own. And the United States was split right down the middle, shared only by the Big Ten and the SEC. Plenty money to be made with a merge such as this. Would this be a logistical nightmare? Could this work? How would they place the teams? Where would they fit? Well, stay tuned. Cause here on a fan's point of view, we're going to play some and enjoy it. I don't care what y'all say. I enjoyed doing it. I had fun doing that, and I really enjoyed it. Um, however, I could have put a little bit more thought into it. But like I said, I'm working, and I got I'm a father, a husband. Sports is up here. We've got the spring coming up. Got softball, baseball, flag football, all kinds of stuff going on. But look, they're adding every. They're at probably going to add probably what two to four teams every year to their uh to their respective conferences. 
they're really trying to take this thing over. They're really doing this. And there's nothing that that's could that could gonna stop them. They am, them two are the most watched conferences in college football. We watched the Colorado Buffaloes. No other reason why we know why we watch the Colorado Buffaloes because of Deion Sanders, because of Coach Deion Sanders. That is the reason why we watched the Colorado Buffaloes the way we did. And that they broke a lot of numbers. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Big Ten and the SEC are the most watched conferences in college football. And we know, yeah, we can all agree on that, right? Not only that, the, the the television money they get, they have they've been successful. Those two conferences have been super successful in what they have been doing as far as running it like a league. They're not in any trouble. They are not running into any financial trouble. Their brands, their teams are heavily supported. They just didn't let any old programs in there. US uh USC has a good fan base. Their fan base will grow. It will grow. Believe it or not, being in a Big Ten, their fan base will grow. Other people will start watching, seeing more of USC. You probably didn't um in the past because they're on the West Coast and some a lot of their games are late or they weren't televised as much. Same thing with uh UCLA. Everybody loves Oregon because you always hear about their uniform changes and so forth and whatnot, right? Washington. A lot of East fan, uh, East Coast fans will start supporting these West teams now, right? Now they got to go into the South and grab some teams, right? And it's just, it's just it's only right to go in the South and grab some teams. I think that uh, like a Florida State would not be far fetched because of the SEC denying Florida State. I don't think that was smart because that is one of correct me if I'm wrong, Florida people, and I I don't know this to be true because I'm not in Florida. And numbers sometimes ain't the way to go. I just want to connect with the people sometimes. I right? and in this case, I want to connect with the people because I want to know how it feels to be in Florida. And, and and trust me, I'm going to find out how it feels to be in Florida when a Florida football team plays. Because I'm definitely coming down there this summer to come watch that UFC in Colorado game. I gotta be down there for that. Now, um. What is going on? Like, how is it like when Florida State and Miami play? Is that is that is that shuts down everything? You know what I'm saying? Because those two fan bases, you know, I know the history of the Miami Hurricanes. I know the history and I, I, the real respect it, you know, and you hear about that. You even got people from up here my whole life up north. You see them rocking the, the orange and the green with the hurricanes. You know what I'm saying? I used to see the starter jackets, and you see it all the time. People love, they like the Miami Hurricanes up here. The fan base is strong. You hear me? And same thing with the Seminoles. They're strong up here. You hear me? So, like, I that's without a doubt, you know, them missing on that is crazy. But this is a real thing. And they have been so successful at what they're doing. I don't know why the ACC seems steady. It does. The ACC, it does seem steady, but they can't seem to get the respect and get the talent in the ACC that they need. I don't know why the ACC does not get the respect, even though, even though once if an ACC team gets into the college football playoff, they most likely win it, right? Or they most likely win it, okay? And that's just how it is, you know? When they get there, they ball out. They're not being refused, you know? Um, we don't know what Florida would have done, uh, Florida State would have done had they got into the tournament last year. Um, honestly, I, they don't get – none. Of, nobody opts out the game if they're in a college football playoff. We don't know what that backup quarterback would have done had he had some practice time with the ones those couple of weeks with the ones, you know, he, they won a, um, a, the, the ACC championship against Louisville and he had no practice time with the ones really. He just got thrown to the wolves, like go in there and play. But look, I know that's over and done with, but I just had to, you know what I mean? 
I bring that up because I'm talking about Florida State. You know, um, but like, yes, there's strong fan bases in the ACC, very strong historic fan bases in the ACC. And I don't know if they can withstand the pressure of the Big Ten and the SEC. But the question I want to ask y'all before I get on up out of here is, hypothetically speaking, right, there's four more teams that enter both conferences. They go to 20 teams next year. After, after this season, which four teams goes to the Big Ten and which four teams go to the SEC? Let me know down in the comments, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button for your boy. You know what I'm saying? For the algorithm. Get me pumping a little bit. Because y'all doing y'all job out there. I appreciate everybody who's tuning in to me and watching me. I definitely appreciate it because I'm almost there. Okay, my monetization, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and supporting me. I appreciate it. Send all blessings, y'all, on this terrific Taco Tuesday. Make sure that y'all's getting y'all's. Now my bow. Wanna see Chuck and Chubby live and co-host share it? Tune in at fans' point of view. Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3.30 p.m. Pacific Time. But in the meantime, in between time, enjoy the content. Don't forget to hit your notification bell for all updates. Thank you for watching.